been good for you today. Anyway, in today's quick tip video, we're going to talk about screw heads. When you have a metallic looking piece of armor, which a lot of cosplayers um, suits kind of try to recreate, there's oftentimes seams that are put together using rivets, screws, and bolts. So in this video, we're going to show you how to recreate the, or give your armor the illusion of having screw heads in it. So let's get started. Screw heads are present in many things that are man-made and built. From a piece of wood to a piece of metal, there's different types of screws that can be used to hold things together. So today we're going to recreate the appearance of a screw head with some foam. And we're just going to simply use our Dremel tool and we're going to have the, what we have here is our drum is lifted slightly up. You see this gap here. So this raised above the actual cylinder that it's on. We're going to put a small circle groove and then we're going to take our X-Acto knife which is hidden in my drawer somewhere. Here we go. And we're going to cro make a cross section in it. We'll hit it with our heat gun. It'll, it will open that up and we'll have the appearance of a screw hole. So to get started we're going to fire up our Dremel tool or rotary tool of your choice and we're going to make our circle. Quick and easy. We've got two holes circles, I'm sorry. If you were to continue pressing down on that, the little screw that's inside will also show through, which would give you the appearance of a rivet. But we're not looking for that in this video. We're looking stri strictly to recreate the pattern of a screw. So next we're going to take our X-Acto knife, and we're going to be careful not to overcut what we're trying to cut here. Because if you go past your thing and you cut further into the foam, it will show up in the end result. So we're just going to take one and go straight across and make a line. I put two lines in it just to show that uh, you could do a lot of different things. And this one we're going to make up here like a Phillips head. And give it a couple light scores. And of course my lines are horribly off center. I'm trying to do this without getting my head too much in the camera. So we have one that I put two crazy lines in just for a funny design. Could be like a flat head. And then we have one that's like a Phillips head. Now we're just going to hit that with our heat gun and let that open up. See how, well that, see how well that opened up? And there you have two kinds of screw heads. Now you can actually use different things to recreate the same effect. You can use a pipe, which I have sharpened to give you that initial circle cut which will open up as well which I prefer using these over my Dremel these days so we'll make that one look like a much larger flathead screw as you can see I did not cut very far down into this foam so it didn't really retain the shape can always go back over it and make sure you get through that top layer. Still can't tell. Now I'm pretty sure I'm through it. Okay, now if you compare the three, 
this one, this one, and this one. This one by far is the most accurate looking screw of the bunch. So you can experiment with whatever you have. You can use your Dremel tool. You can use a pipe such as what I did. And when you're done, just go over it with a silver paint or a silver marker. Do it a little cleaner than I'm doing. And I like to leave that center untouched to give it a little more depth and make that stand out. It's a horrible paint job, but I'm just trying to show you the end result. But now you have some screw holes, or screw heads, which are comparable to real ones. Just much bigger in this example. So there you go. That's how you make screw heads. Hope you enjoyed the quick tip. And remember, stay crafty. Psst. Hey there. You. Yeah, you. Come here. Why don't you uh, click that subscribe button real quick, please? That's all I got for you. Just come by and see me at cccosplay.com. Hit that subscribe button. That way you'll always have updated information when new videos are released. And uh, connect with me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. All the information is on cccosplay.com. And last but not least, stay crafty, my friends.